Cleveland's W.C. Reed Park was once the centerpiece of an entire neighborhood, but now its future is uncertain. The park was closed by the city eight months ago after contaminated soil was found on the property. The EPA has been called in for the cleanup. But residents say they've been given little input on what happens next. So they contacted Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Joe? Well, Lee, residents are concerned the U.S. EPA will simply come in and strip out an asset that they've come to love. The 12.5 acres of W.C. Reed Park in Cleveland have remained virtually abandoned since November of 2012. Surrounded by temporary fencing, the play fields were closed by the city after core samples uncovered soil contamination. Residents living near the park say the U.S. EPA has ordered up a $2 million cleanup. A cleanup residents say will unfairly strip the park of all of its assets. They want to scorch the earth, remove the trees, remove all the vegetation in the neighborhood, which actually, in a sense, the vegetation in the trees cleanse the soil. Is that the correct approach? 50 to 70 year old trees that will be coming down and replaced with two inch saplings. Resident Gloria Ferris says her neighborhood council has been given very little information on what the cleanup will entail. She and dozens of other residents believe they should have some input on how the park will be cleaned up. A cleanup residents say doesn't have to devastate the landscape. We've been playing down here for 50, 60 years now, and uh, I've never seen anybody keel over down here. But some residents living in a park. Apartments nearby say the park was built on a landfill and the contamination is affecting their health. Swelling of my eyes, swelling of my throat, and the swelling of my nasal passes. And I have the report from my emergency doctors. Still, other residents believe stirring up the landfill below will do more harm than good. It's been capped. Why, why open it? Well, you know, why permit these toxins to become airborne and possibly affect the health of the residents that live in, in these neighborhoods? Now, News Channel 5 contacted the U.S. EPA about this case. It responded just 15 minutes ago. Good news, it made commitments to save several large trees at the park, and it said it will not move forward until it has a thorough meeting with residents first. Meanwhile, Councilman Joe Simperman says he's also been pretty much been left out of the loop and is calling for the city to actually take control of this project. We'll keep you updated. Live on 5 in the newsroom, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.